Gigi was joined 23rd after second round of one under par 70 for a total of two under par 140, while Madoya was joined 40th on level par 142. Greg Snow and Dismas Indiza missed the cut by a shot after they finished joined 80th on three over par 145. South Africa's Louis De Jaga is the overnight leader, going into third round after a round of four under par 67 for a total of 12 under par 130. England's Jack Singh and Spanish Andre Arnauz are joined second on eight under par 134. Got off to a great start, you know, birdie, birdie, par birdie, and uh, that really got me going for the day. Uh, kept on, I hit the ball well today, you know, rolled the putter real nice, rolled the ball real nice. So it, um, you know, it's quite windy out there, but you know, if you hit the ball, cross the altitude up here, you know, when you hit the ball quite solidly, it most of the time it nearly goes through the wind. Yeah. I don't have that pleasure. What I will do tomorrow is to keep my ball in play and try to make greens as possible, and then try to make parts. So I, I, I don't think I have pleasure no more, because uh, I have played a lot of tournaments, so uh, I don't have pleasure anymore. So I need guys to come and watch me more, or other players, and then we see what will happen on Sunday. The Magical Kenya Open has a prize fund of 1.1 million euro, which is equivalent to 125 million shillings, and the winner will take home 183, 330 euro, which is equivalent to 20.5 million shillings. Karanja David for Channel One Sports.